Well, there were many points. Uh, it was not just a single point. First of all, you have to get the idea that you can do something about a light microscope because people believe that this would not be possible. And this was fully accepted in the 20th century. And so I think the first point was when I had this kind of conviction evolving in me that there must be a way to do something about this diffraction barrier, as it is called. Then I was convinced continuing. And then the second big event was when I had the first concrete idea. I actually had it when I was a, a postdoc in, in Obo in, in, in Finland. And I realized that you can separate fluorescent molecules that are closer together than this 200 nanometer barrier by turning them on and off, playing, playing with the brightness of them. And I um, discovered that you can use a phenomenon which is called stimulated emission. And this phenomenon of stimulated emission does nothing but keep molecules dark, shut, shuts the molecules off. And so I used this phenomenon of stimulated emission to, to shut molecules off, turn them off, to see the neighboring one. And uh, this was the second really important event in this journey. The third important event was when I realized that this is doable. You can really do it in practice. This phenomenon of turning off really works the way I anticipated. And the fourth event was when we got the first pictures that demonstrated, yes, you can see details at much, much smaller scales because you can keep things dark. And if you have two things that you cannot separate normally because they hit at the same time with big blob of light, you turn this one off to see this one, and then you turn this one off to see that one. And that was, as it turned out, a fundamental discovery. And with that, you can see now, in principle, down to the molecular scale. And in practice, now we are about 20 nanometers, 30 nanometers. But it's clear that the resolution will increase um, um, further and further if you perfect this, say, state transition, that's a technical term, of going from a bright to a dark state or between two different states.